Hello students, today we are going to discuss your worksheet number 53 for the date 9th November. As you know that your hereditary and evolution lesson is going on, today, today's topic is sex determination in case of human beings. That means how we decide that the uh, progeny or the going to be baby will be a male or a female. So women which give birth right to a birth to a male or a female it depends on the hereditary as we know that humans have 23 pair of chromosome that means in total we are having 46 chromosomes the progeny gets one chromosome from the female and the another from the male that means one from the mother and another from the father so this pair of chromosomes are a perfect pair except a pair of sex chromosome all generally pairs are same except the sex chromosomes in case of females the sex chromosomes are xx while in case of male it is xy because this y is short one called you can see from the picture also y is slightly shorter as compared to the x so how it decide so during the zygote formation the x chromosome from the mother is determined not determining the sex of the child it is the father sex chromosome which is determining you can see from the figure also that females are only having xx and male are only having xy so female progeny if get receiving x only from the female and if this x combined with the x of father girl will be there and if x combines with the y of the father boy will be there so there are 50 percent chances that the going to be progeny will be a boy or a girl equal chances so what we have learned that the sex of a child depends solely on the chromosome passed by the child from passed to the child by the father but there are some interesting facts also in reptiles temperature at which fertilized eggs are kept will decide that egg of uh, the sex of the developing egg will be male or a female and in some snails <coughs> individual can change sex indicating that the sex is not always genetically determined the question answer is very simple you can see the human female sex chromosomes are represented by xx and xy represent the male sex chromosomes how does sex determination occurs in humans explain with diagram this diagram you have to draw then the things i know now know and understand that the sex of child depends solely on the chromosome passed by the passed to the child by the father so this thing you have to write here the sex of child depends solely on the chromosome passed to the child by the father and here you can write the things which you further want to know that your teacher will can answer or you can send him to the question answers. Thanks for watching the video.